So hello, good evening. Today is uh, March the seventh. No, March the fourth. Mm -hmm. uh, it's Friday, and I'm going to go to the border between Poland and Ukraine uh, in order to pick up uh, one of my wife's friends with her son, her mom, and also my mother-in-law. So it's going to be a quite long travel. Expect uh, something like 1,500 kilometers. Uh, so almost likely between. 16 and 18 hours just for one way and the same to come back well as you know uh, the war has started two weeks ago uh, maybe one and a half so not even two weeks ago uh, thousands of people have, have already left the country and uh, some of them are stuck uh, especially with this border so um, at the same time I thought that since in any case I'm going to pick them up alone it would make sense to make some humanitarian help so that's the reason why we prepared a full car so my car is completely full of products different types of products food diapers um, well here you can have a glimpse of what is in the car snacks snacks mm -hmm. different types of snacks here that's uh, the back of the car so uh, what is quite complicated is that uh, we planned everything in just one day, within one day, because we were in a hurry, we didn't even know that it would work out so fast. In fact, my mother-in-law was blocked in Kharkiv and uh, my father-in-law unfortunately died this week. So she had to wait until he was buried to depart, which was quite dangerous, so she had to take a train um, the train went from Kharkiv to uh, the western part of Ukraine uh, on the border with uh, Poland. So next to, um, uh, to Lviv, uh, I would say it's something like 70 kilometers on the west of Lviv. And well, the difficulty is that uh, my wife's friend won't uh, be exactly at the same uh, point than my mother-in-law. So I will need to find them first. And uh, even regarding this project, we didn't even have time to, to find out anything there. So we just thought we will pack the entire car, I'll drive there, and in any case, I will find somebody who would be willing to take good care of all these goods. Because uh, my wife's friends said that uh, there is a refugee camp, a refugee center, and that in any case they need some food or some diapers and so different types of goods. Uh, so it's nine in the evening and let's go. See you later. Hi, so let's make a quick update of uh, the situation. As I told you yesterday, uh, I departed at nine in the evening, so 9 p.m. Um, I drove the entire night, I can assure that I'm bit tired of course I made no stop before 1 30 a.m. then I had to make a break of approximately one hour but I couldn't even sleep because it was so freezing cold outside that even I even had to use the blanket which was uh, I don't know if you can see it here the blanket which was meant for the refugees so uh, it's pretty good that it was in the car because I I had to use it first. Uh, then I drove again until 6, I made a second break, so it was my second break and now it's almost 10, 10 a.m. and I am just going to depart after having made my third break, so three breaks for uh, something like a bit more than 1000 kilometers already or 1000 kilometers. I think that's not too much and it's pretty good. The wood was nice, but uh, well, the way is still pretty long. I made approximately two thirds of the way, maybe slightly more, maybe slightly more. I didn't even check exactly. Just know that uh, now it indicates that I still have to drive four and a half hours for approximately 500 kilometers. So yeah, two thirds of the road is done. Uh, it's what I expected, so 10 hours yesterday plus 3 today, already 14 hours. 
Um, so if I add the four and a half or five, which are expected, this is much closer to 20 hours than the 15, which were indicated on Google Maps. But this is normal when you make breaks, even if these breaks are quite, uh, quite short and not numerous. It already takes some time and the other thing which takes a lot of time is of course the fact that I didn't want to drive too fast. Of course uh, Google Maps, Maps expects that uh, you drive at the maximum authorized li uh, limits all the time which is not my case. I typically drive slightly slower. I do it deliberately not to piss off other drivers but simply because it enables you to save a bit on gasoline and uh, when your car is as charged as mine it's better to do so so by the way now I will show you how charged it is so here you will get a glimpse before I depart now you can see it by by day probably you can see what is uh, maybe I could change the mode or of the video or I will just make an another one briefly okay so see you let's try to do it again my phone fell on the floor so I lost quite a lot so here as you can see there's a lot for the car for the association diapers food any type of food some fish, even some food for animals, cats. Uh, baby food here. Uh, shower gel. And that's it. So now I'm going to keep driving and I will really hurry so that I reach the destination by the expected time which I had in the beginning which is 3 in the afternoon and of course here as you can see Ukraina s toboju Slava Ukraini and let's continue now another very very brief uh, video just to tell you how now it's going to, to continue because I will have to pick up uh, my wife's friend first because she probably knows better than the others where I can leave the food which is also very crucial because without giving the food there won't be any place in the car um, unfortunately her mom is in another place than her and my wife's mom too so the three people who I'm supposed to pick up well four but uh, my wife's friends is in any case here with her son but there are three groups of people if I can call it like this who are not in the same place so this will be quite challenging so they are not very far from each other but still it will require me to find them first so let's start just a brief update to let you know that I drove with no interruption from 10 till now. It's uh, already 3 o'clock in the afternoon. There were some traffic jams. Uh, it was absolutely horrible and I'm still one hour away from my destination. Uh, meanwhile, I also found out through a phone call from my wife that uh, my mother-in-law won't be waiting for me at the place she was supposed to be but uh, she was brought somewhere else uh, much further so because uh, the refugee centers were overloaded apparently so uh, I will just pick up my wife's friends today and her mom and uh, my mother-in-law apparently tomorrow okay see you I'm finally here. Apparently, uh, this camp is full, but they need uh, stuff somewhere else. But since I was supposed to pick up someone, which they didn't know, they gave me the permission uh, to leave the things here. So I think they will uh, just move them and bring them somewhere else uh, on their own. So later. So let's see what's going on. 
So welcome back. It's the next day already. Yesterday, after I found uh, the the shelter, so the refuge center, I just uh, dropped the belongings there. They told me that uh, it would have been better to bring it at another camp, but because they were already full. But uh, since I also had to pick someone up, so two people, I told them that I couldn't uh, take them with the belongings in the car. So. Uh, they probably uh, transported the goods which I brought to another center. So in terms of logistics, if this happens to many people, it also requires a lot of work from the Polish side. And it probably happens, which was more complicated, was to find a hotel. Because uh, we were told that it would be quite difficult to find one in Przemysl. And finally, we had to drive almost two hours, so uh, maybe even more. No, I think even more because we arrived at, uh, I arrived there at half past four until I uh, dropped everything. It was five and finally we found a hotel at nine in the evening. We had to drive back at Reshov and we found the very, very last place. We even had to share a room just to give you an idea. So everything is completely booked now. Um, unfortunately, the plans also changed regarding my mom. So instead of picking her up in the place which was told by my wife and which was first meant to be uh, Shlavkov, uh, I got the notification uh, from her that she was finally sent somewhere else again. And it's uh, much further than expected because instead of being on directly on the way back, between Krakow and Katowice, she was sent uh, somewhere in 50 or 100 kilometers in the north of uh, Krakow, in uh, Shero, Shereshchow, for something like that. So I will still have to check the name. So now that we're in Reshov, the plan is the following. We will first drive back to the border with uh, between Poland and Ukraine, but not in Medica. We will take another one, which is called Bunomierch, to pick up uh, Elena's mom and then We'll first drive back and on our way back, we will need to make a loop of one or two hours, probably, to pick up uh, Natalia's mom. So that's going to be a quite long day. And we probably won't be home today. Today is Sunday already, Sunday is the 6th, but most likely tomorrow. See you. And that's, <laughs> and, and that's the room, just so, so that you have an idea. These were just two single beds like this when we had to share them for three people. And by the way, they really uh, understood that they could do whatever they wanted with the prices because we had to pay over 100 euro for that, which is quite expensive for Poland. Even though last time I came here was six years ago, I remember that for something similar, the prices were approximately 20 euro. Just so that you have an idea. Okay, bye.